10 things at the same time. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Tommy, thanks for coming. This is your fourth time now at the CD Open. A couple of times in the quarters, a couple of times in the semis. Do you think this year, this is, this is the year to win the CD Open? Well, I mean, of course, it's uh, it's good to be back, and it uh, would be nice to follow up on the good results and uh, play some good tennis, and that's that's my main thing, you know. I mean, it's thinking about the title. It's still, yeah, still in a weak time, and I didn't I didn't even hit the ball yet. So yeah, I like to go one by one and uh, play good tennis, hitting the ball nice and clean, and then you know, then all all the all the rest come up together with it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just like a match. Not, not that I just. Uh, I came on Friday. I had a, uh, two two good days of, of preparation, and uh, yeah, I mean, even the weather is very nice and pleasant, and uh, yeah, everything's going well. Do you think the courts are fast, or same, or do you remember them from last time? I'm just trying to get a take on the court speed. Uh, well, about the court speed. Well, last time for me it was like two, three years ago, so it's it's hard to hard to compare because the courts are are getting new every year, I guess. And uh, and but now I would say it always very depends on the weather because the first day I came was and I had a practice was Saturday and it was really hot and yeah it, it, it makes the conditions really fast and even the court is getting a bit faster, the balls flying more, so basically like whole. Uh, feeling is that the courts are fast, but uh, you know I'm, I'm not really expecting that it's going to be cold here. So, so it's definitely going to be fast conditions overall this week. Any other questions? What changes for you when you play as the top seed in the tournament like you are here? Yeah, I mean it's uh, basically it's. Uh, I'm not saying it's a completely new situation, but it's not it's not really often I would say because it's. Uh, uh, still, I mean, even with my ranking, it's number five. Then you know, they are, I'm choosing the tournament, or when you play the the, the, the biggest tournament, that there is always somebody uh, a little bit uh, before you. So it's different, but uh, you know, it, it doesn't change much. You know, it's just need to go there. You know, focus on your opponent, try to play your best, and uh, really go one by one. Any other questions? Well, I don't think that the break was uh, something really long, but it's something what uh, me and my body really needs because, uh, you know, really the break in off season for me was very, very short, and not not only the last one, but you know, the last couple of years because of. Uh, we played the Davis Cup twice, twice till the end, and the season was really long. So it's uh, you know I think it's the, the body really needs it. You know, just just a couple of weeks off, and uh, it's uh, some time to to prepare, to have uh, some good uh, practice uh, sessions, and uh, you know just recharge the batteries and be be, be ready again. Yeah. How thoroughly do you monitor the weather and? What effect does that have on your fitness and training preparation for a tournament in this kind of condition? Well, yes, it's 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 a tough conditions, but it's yes, it's same for everybody. And uh, I mean, even that I was practicing uh, in Europe, the weather was there very nice, was very good. Not so humid like here, but it was it was hot. So I think my preparation was good, even in that uh, stage. And how it can affect here, you know, it's. It's good that we start a bit later on to the, uh, in the day, and uh, and it's not not completely the straight sun, and uh, you know, but it, it's gonna be always a tough tough challenges in in every single match. Any other questions? Yeah. Um, you took a break. Did you go any place on vacation that you could? Yeah, I did. Uh, right after Wimbledon, I just uh, we just took a week off and we went to to Greece, one of the islands there. So just just really completely relaxed, nothing, no play, nothing to do, and uh, really just just enjoying enjoying the free time, which is which is very 
unique to to find the the free time like that in the, in the in the whole year, and uh, it was really good. You know, that's that's something what really the the body also needs, and the the mind gets you know fresh, and uh, again you, you you feel to go, and you know that's it. Yeah, I mean it's 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 really tough. I mean it's uh, it's really hard to, to to explain it with with a better word. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm trying to do my best and uh, you know working uh, working hard for that every day. And uh, you know, I would say that even just to, to keep that position for already quite uh, quite few years in my case it's uh, it's a it's a good result when you when you see how how tough is that on on top and uh, how good the the players are and not even only there i mean if if you look at the level of i would say top 100 players it's it's uh, it's really it's really big and uh, you know just so just to hang in there it's it's not not easy at all, and uh, that's the that's the base. I would say baseline to you know have a chance to to get closer or even get you know number four, number three. But uh, you know that's that's it. I mean, if if there is a if there is a, some you know uh, received how, received how to do it. I mean, I would definitely <laughs> would like to do it and uh, would like to know it. But uh, it's not like that. I mean. All, all of us are trying, and uh, this makes the good competition. Does it feel like, you know, right now, the top four, maybe it's not as hard to break into there as maybe it was in years past? I mean, that the field is almost getting a little narrower. Yeah, I mean, it always depends on point of view, and uh, I mean, those three guys stays there, and uh, Roger, Rafa, Nowak, I mean, it's, it's still still up there. There, there was a one change of, of Stan getting up, winning the slam in the beginning of the year. So yeah, he really deserved the the position up there. So I would basically say that uh, you really need to win a slam to 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 get there because at least uh, you know few few or the other guy is gonna have at least one. So you know if if you want to be part of that, you you really need to to get the thing. Get that one to 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 get probably the top four, top three. But uh, yeah, it's it's how it is, and we all trying for it. Yeah. And you feel that, that after Barbico winning Australia, it's a bigger chance for a player like you to win? A, I don't know the Grand Slam in New York. Well, I mean, Stan uh, had a great great run in Australia. Definitely, it was. I mean, it was amazing result for him but uh, you know after that if you if you look at it I mean Rafa won in Paris Novak won in Wimbledon so basically nothing nothing uh, nothing really changed after that and uh, I mean after what maybe you correct me after the last 40 winners of slams they are just too different so you know I, I wouldn't say that it's really open there you know it's uh, it's been probably a just that moment that uh, Stan Stan was prepared, that was ready, that, that he took it, and uh, I think it's back back in the old old lines how it was before. Any other questions? So this year's been semi all four slams. Which one do you think is your best shot? Well, I mean, it's it starts strange. I I, I made the first semi final in Paris, which I never thought I can do it on the on the clay. Then. Uh, Finally, in Wimbledon, which was, uh, I would say, even more bigger surprise to me. So it's it's really hard to hard to judge which one was was the best. You know, still still the Wimbledon stays on, on top, and it's 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 the best one. But uh, I really like to play on the hard court. So if me personally can choose, it's gonna be a hard court. No, no, definitely not. It's 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 gone. It's past, and it's 
everything start from from now and uh, you know it's just uh, if I wouldn't like to change it and uh, I wouldn't be here so I'm here I want to play and I, I want to have a good week yeah. on a lot of side you're uh, what's the story behind the ESPN the uh, the body issue and what's your what's the reaction that you've gotten from that uh, yeah, what's uh, I mean when I when I've been approached with uh, with the offer to to do that, I was I was really excited because it's something something very different, something new. It's it's unique, and I think it's very uh, very well known. I would say event, you know, and uh, be part of it with uh, all those other world cr class top athletes. It's uh, it's really. To be honored to to do that, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm a guy to like uh, new new things to do, new things to try, and uh, so why not that? And the reaction, you know, I mean, always you're gonna find the the positive and negative ones, and uh, but I think that the that the nice and positive ones are are definitely more.